hello guys and welcome back to the channel in this tutorial we're going to learn how to use xcali draw to use the ai feature in it to generate different kind of charts or diagrams like this uh, these are diagrams uh, that we can see that they are being generated by the ai of this very tool you can see this is the water cycle something like the water cycle it has generated everything and you can see this is another chart that shows the process in which tea is being made okay you boil the water you add the tea leaves you let it brew you pour into a cup and add milk and sugar and stir and then serve directly this is from starting point to the end point all of these were generated by an ai this is another one okay so in this tutorial we're going to learn the basics of how to use this ai tool to generate this so Escali Draw have recently added the AI feature which we can access. So to start, you can just go ahead, come over and uh, you can see this is a whiteboard in general. You can use it for demonstration of different kind of concepts, ideas. Maybe during your presentations, you want to showcase things, you can do that on your own. So once you open, you come to xcalidraw.com to bring you over here and you're free to start writing things or start demonstrating things directly. Um, start demonstrating things directly from here you know these things that you see one two three i'm uh, just mere shortcuts okay if you want to access if you want to access um these shapes you can see for example this circle you can just press on letter four and circle is activated okay so once you click you can see you've now drawn a circle and if you want to make it a perfect circle of course you have to hold down the shift key and it's going to be a perfect circle if you hold down the control you go to letter three the shortcut three is going to give you this shape you know very nice and you can change the color if you're interested and many other properties like you can change it to red if you want to change it to red the background if you want it without background or with a background you can change it and you can add different types of fill also from here if you want to have this hatched fill you can have it as well and you can do uh, add other things like the stroke or the type of um, uh, stroke width you can add directly stroke style you can make it dashed if you want or you can change the sloppiness and so on so the opacity and here you can add layers of different types and you can bring something forward and backward and you can do many other actions like you can copy things you can delete things directly on your own you just may yeah, delete and you can see you've just deleted it and at any given point, if you double click on any object, it will bring back the control panel so you can have those controls for yourself. Now, you can do many things, like you can draw the flowchart that we've just shown on your own using these um, features. You can click and you'll be able to draw using different processes. For example, you may have different, different types of process and you go with this without background. And of course, you're free to add anything. You can write text. Uh, add different points for illustrations or to write on your own you can go ahead and write things um on your own if you're interested okay so it's really really very nice and something very very interesting to try if you want to try just just go ahead go to this website and you can start writing things on your own of course you can add text inside here if you want For example and you can write different things of course you can select as well and play around with all of these text editing features the text alignment you can align left right and center you can change the opacity the layers as well as the family you can, you can change the uh, the font style the sizes and so on you can this small this is medium this is large if you want to make it large but I think I prefer that medium. All right, so there are different things you can do here. Now you can add images in case if you want to add image. Images can be added with the shortcut nine, okay? So you just go to your keyboard, hit on nine, and it will just enable you to bring in different kind of image that you want. For example, if I want to add this image, I can just see, we just this drag, you can see I've added it into my, my whiteboard, and I can resize it and position it anywhere uh, that I want. For example, if I want it here, I can put it here. And I have other controls. For example, I can play around with the edges. If I want it to have circular edges, and I can play around with the opacity as well, and the layers. I can move it above or below some things, some of the features. And you can carry out different kind of things, especially for cropping. 
you can crop some sections of it if this is what you're interested now you can go ahead and delete some features as well if you don't want anything you can just delete and very very easily you can see it is deleting things uh, as we just hover over them okay so it's this simple now to the most important which is the ai tool that is going to generate those charts or those flow charts that we've just seen or the diagrams that we've just seen so let's talk about this you can click and you can just go ahead and click on text to diagram can just see click on text to diagram are you brought in over to, to this um, uh, platform now this way you type in your prompt you can be as detailed as you can and it's just simple click on generate it's going to generate that for you all right so let's say i have this and i press this draw a life cycle of a butterfly egg lava pupa adult butterfly with arrows connecting these stages in a circular flow so let's click on generate and let's see what it's going to give us yeah you can see this is the situation if this is what you, you if this is what you want you can just click and it will just add it to your whiteboard very easily he can move it around and you can resize this also make it bigger if this is what you are interested in okay you can check the process and you can see the wonders that it has done okay so the best part of this is that it is editable this chart or this flow this um this this process can be editable you can check on this and you can add anything you want to add maybe make it x or something like that if you want and then you can select and resize it as well and then you can move it to fixing the positions you can move the other tools as well to connect easily you can see very very nice so you can edit any of them and if you don't want it to be this plain you can select and add coloration to it all right so maybe this is the starting point you can make it red or something like that you can add different kind of coloration and you have all of the these controls for yourself to be able to add to whatever system or to whatever pro flow process you can have now you can zoom out to see the whole things that you have drawn okay and you can see them you can always use the hand tool to pan around and you can be able to see the different things that you have drawn and very easily you can zoom in and out now this is about working on your own you can work with other people by clicking on share you can invite people you can share export as a read or lead link and you can share with people so they can read they can see it and you can start a session where you can collaborate with others so they can be able to join you for example you can type your name or the email address of the person that you want to join you can copy this link and you can share it with them and then they can be able to join you so when i copy this link and I share with one of my friends. Let me say I come to another browser and just click over here. And then let's say I join this. And when you look at it, you can see that well, there are two people now on the on the process or on the whiteboard working directly. So this is one of the beauties of this. You can be able to work simultaneously with others um, together in the same project. Okay, so collaboration is very, very easy and interesting. Now, another thing is you may want to export the process uh, something or some part of the document or some part of your creations you can always come to these three lines and click on save to you can save this if you want to save the 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 project or you can export the image if you want to export you can click on export you can export as png or svg or you can copy to clipboard and paste it somewhere within your workflow and you can have it with background or without background if you don't want it without background you can just disable this you can have dark mode if you want to have it dark mode or light mode i prefer it at light and without background so whatever wherever if i paste it is going to take in that particular background and you can embed if you want to embed and then you can scale it up by one or by two or by three depending on what you want and you can just click on download and this is going to give you the png version of this very uh, drawings that you've done and if you are interested in having to know most of the shortcuts you can come to this um this question mark down here once you click on it you'll be able to see all the given shortcuts that you can use for this particular tool okay so just explore it to see which one you can use uh, to your own advantage there are so many of them so just go ahead and check them all right so this basically concludes this tutorial about the use of the escali draw to draw from text to diagram okay very easily so please go ahead explore it and see what you can do with this and how you can help you to do 
your basic work, be it content creation, be it explanation of concepts during meetings or there about. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.